And hello, Dennis Langlais here with the Five Minute Bark Podcast. And I wanted to make this video here for you because some of you are concerned on what to expect on the Five Minute Bark Show. So I'm going to go through a little list of things here that I really like to um, emphasize and encourage. Number one, we will be doing the show on Skype. Uh, because of the way I record and edit things, Skype is my premium place to do my podcast. So my Skype name is Dennis Langley, all one word, Dennis L-A-N-G-L-A-I-S. So make sure you add me on Skype, number one. And total time, how much spend do we, how much time are we going to spend with each other? So this definitely will depend, but if you are going to set aside enough time, set, set aside about an hour of time. The recording time itself will be anywhere from 20 to 30, maybe 35 minutes, depending on how the conversation goes. I don't stop anybody in the middle of a good conversation. So 20 to 30 minutes for recording time. We'll be doing some talking before, maybe a little bit after in between that. So I encourage you just to leave an hour for that. So if you're a mastermind member or a software member, we'll be doing some other things like the 20 second pitch, maybe doing some rehearsing and some training of that to make sure it comes out just right. So we'll still get that in within the hour because we're good like that. Okay. Another thing too is your check of your microphone. Okay. I cannot tell you how many people say, yeah, my microphone works great and it's all cool and everything. This is how you're going to test it. Everyone put your headphones on and tap the microphone. If you hear the microphone, then you know your microphone's working. I have so many guests that come on and I want to encourage you to please check that before you come on so we can have that all dialed in. It's, it can take up to 10 or 15 or 20 minutes to do that. And if you have Skype, you want to go to your preferences and go to your audio and video. And under there, there's some drop downs for your microphone in there. Uh, if you have a PC, good luck. Sorry, I'm not a PC person, but if you can try to figure that out on that, um, good luck. So if you're a Mac, it's pretty simple. Go to preferences, audio and video, and go in the drop downs and select your mic of choice. The next thing I want to talk about is echoey rooms, okay? If you have a professional microphone like I have here, which is about uh, altogether about $1,000, you can get away with being in an echoey room. It'll still have some echo, but it's important to have a room that has the least amount of echo. And if you do, please make sure you're on top of the mic, just like I am here today. So you can see I'm very close to the microphone, but if I get back here, you'll start hearing more of the room and that's not effective in a podcast, okay? We want people to hear your voice. If you're vulnerable and you're in an intense moment, we want people to hear that voice. So make sure you set your microphone up so you can be at least this far away from it. If you're back here, it's gonna be less effective and everybody wants to be effective on their podcast. So echoey rooms and make sure you are eating the microphone. Any microphone you use, please try to be close up to it so that you can get the resonation of your voice. I cannot um, say that enough times. <laughs> internet bandwidth, everybody. Make sure that nobody is downloading on your internet connection while we're doing our interview. So nobody's watching videos or fiddle faddling with the internet. Make sure that that's all covered as well. We need as much bandwidth as possible. All of my shows are recorded in video so I can see your emotions while I am recording and I can play off of that. Lighting, okay? Lighting is super important. Have light or bright light coming at you, okay, versus behind you. If I open my window here, you'll see that this will get a little glary and uh, it'll turn messy. So you'll see kind of like some whiteness in the background there on my screen here. We don't want that, okay? So cover up that light just like that. You can find a perfect setting there. And let's see, right about there, I guess is gonna be good enough for me. So check your lighting. Ideally, if you can get one of those lights that flashes on your face for better quality, that's worth it, okay? So lighting and backgrounds. Uh, the background, it's a good idea not to have any kind of ironing boards or stacks of paper or books kind of. If you wanna do it, make sure it's organized. You wanna kind of keep that background um, very clear and clean. Okay, that's actually a messy background for me here today, but I'm not usually the one that's on video. You're on video. So I in, I invested in a backdrop, okay? I have two versions of this. This one right here is a, a styrofoam one. Okay, and I also have one, if you see in the far back there, I have a vinyl one, which is actually a, a really good feature to have. They're always great to have for um, podcasts, of course and they're great to have at conventions and so on and so forth, but 
I encourage you, if you're going to take any kind of podcasting serious or YouTube video serious, set yourself up with a nice backdrop. Uh, I have literally landed a gig on the Grant Cardone show because of my professional background. Literally, I didn't have to say a word. They just thought I was professional and invited me on the show. No joke. So do that as well. Um, also, if you're going to do one, I recommend you make sure your logos are big and scattered like mine here. A lot of people have messy backgrounds. They're trying to do like one logo or, or put it too small or just kind of a lot of complication. Make it simple. So no matter where you are, you can see my logo. Okay. So if I move over here, you can still see my logo. If I move over here, you can see my logo. So that's something I would encourage you to do. Um, if you can't afford it someday, you can afford it and get that going. All right, so guest seating, okay? So when we do the uh, recordings, we're gonna have you over, oops, on this side of your thing. So I'm gonna go over here far away. Um, like right about here is we're gonna be, maybe even a little more far over, so. Right about over here. Um, my Mine's not set up for that because I'm not on microphone, but you'll see in the examples, I put a link in this page where you could go and see some examples on there of that. So seated to that side the logo is going to go down in that corner right there and your name and so on and so forth so if you have video of course uh if you're not if you have not purchased the video then you don't have to worry about so much but i still sometimes use clips here and there for promotion if you're a really good interview then maybe i might just use you in my advertising who knows so i record them all in video next and the last thing is your phones all right Put them on airplane mode, and if you have an iPhone like myself, you just go slide up, and up in the corner here is airplane mode. That will get you set up for the event, and then you can always turn it back on when you're about to record, but have it in airplane mode. I hope this helps everybody. These are the recording checklists that we need to get done. Make sure you have me signed up on Skype, total time, approximately an hour. 20 to 30 minutes recording time. Check your microphone, okay? No echoey rooms. Get close to your microphone when you're talking. Super important. 